thank you for coming after lunch, right? So I will try to, I know how it is going to a presentation right after lunch, so I will try to be as energetic as possible, right? So you have come to something called exploit core agile practices at the program level. And so what we're gonna do is talk about how you can very quickly and very simply use some of the basic fundamental agile practices that you've learned how to do on teams and quickly extend that so you're working on multiple teams, sometimes up to 20 or 30, and delivering stuff across the whole program. All righty, and you'll have to excuse the visuals. My partner, Chris Wagner, created this thing in an application called Prezi, which is awesome. It looks really cool. Things swirl, or swirl around, but it doesn't, it doesn't behave well with that projector. So it might look kind of fuzzy. If I'm going to be able looking for your reaction, because if you look confused or something doesn't appear right up there, just give me the secret signal, and 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 <laughs> right, and or I'll just keep going on. Um, when we when a change, somebody changes their mind or comes up with a great idea, all of a sudden we have to do a change request and see how that bleeds through the plan. The other thing, and, and you've been in this thing where all of a sudden these late arriving issues, some big surprise comes up, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, we got to deliver late, or we have to death march right, for a month and to be able to finish it, things like that. It also, just is per, for what we carry into Agilis, that way of working puts the focus on the project manager as, the, as like the filter of information, right? And so I've been in a lot of situations where there's all of a sudden, if I'm a project manager and they're looking to me like I'm the one that's actually delivering all this software, I start gaming the information. Maybe I'm not gonna reveal this stuff, or maybe I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna silently hate this other guy that, in, that, 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 that has a dependency, and again, make him look bad later, right? So there's a lot of this stuff that is just natural because people wanna be successful on their own stuff. So, the, the other thing, because we do all these plans and we got those frameworks, and we'll show you over, we don't have a simple way, or it, it, there's no simple way in the past we know of, of how do you talk about a system of 20 or 30 teams working to de together to deliver something. We don't have any simple way of doing that, and we'll try to explore that. The traditional ways that we have, you know, I've been on so many projects where the first thing the project manager does is they announce a weekly issues meeting, or a weekly issues call, and we're gonna call up and we're gonna discuss issues, right? Nobody knows what an issue is, but what we meet every day and we call we talk about them, right? We have steering committees, status reports, right? And, and, and again, the focus then on all these things is on the